course, uh, bless uh, uh, all the people who worked very hard for this regulation law. And uh, on the one hand, uh, one can say we can be happy and uh, this is going to be the answer, but we all know that uh, waiting around the corner is the Supreme Court who might be uh, uh, bringing down this law. And uh, therefore, the one and only solution to uh, finally um, settle the status of Judea and Samaria is sovereignty. Because uh, from what we understand, when uh, the government of Israel will pass uh, the law uh, to apply the Israeli sovereignty over Judea and Samaria, that the Supreme Court will not be able to uh, abolish. And therefore, we are saying uh, uh, kavod to all those who worked very hard for the regulation law, especially our brothers and sisters from Amona, who are paid a very heavy price to have this law passed. But in the end, the one and only plan that will, uh, that will uh, safeguard Judea and Samaria is the application of Israeli sovereignty. In a few days, Prime Minister Netanyahu is going to go to the United States. And uh, what he has to hear from all of us is that we expect him to push forward the uh, the application of Israeli sovereignty. Uh, that is the main message. He should come there and not ask for little crumbs. He should say what the majority of the Jewish people want. We all know that the two-state solution is finished and is no more an option. We all know that the regulation law will most probably fall into uh, uh, at the high court. What is left? There's only one plan left, the application of Israeli sovereignty over all of Judea and Samaria. And that is what we hope and expect that the prime minister is going to push forward. We're having a, a conference this coming Sunday day where, thank God, uh, so many people registered that uh, we had to now push, we're putting people on the waiting list. But it's going to be live on Arucheva by you guys uh, in Hebrew and in English. And it happens to be that this conference is two, two three days before uh, the meeting of Prime Minister Netanyahu with uh, President Donald Trump. And we hope that also from that conference there will be waves uh, uh, that will help Bibi Netanyahu and strengthen him to ask for the right thing. We're going to have many ministers there and other public figures, all of us saying the time has come for sovereignty now.